morning, everybody. St. John the Baptist, children's choir presents carols to ring in the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace and Mercy. Father Charles was gives us a different perspective on the birth of our Lord.
खुशी की रात हमारी रात आई है It's a quiet place to be born for us, but he is turned away from one end to another. He does not need a palace to be born. Can we spare him some room? burning bright a christmas of justice for everyone
Bethlehem, a kaleidoscope carol that transports us to the place of the nativity. Nothing has changed for the Lord of Love. It is just as poor as it was then. sorrows and experience the bitter cold and hunger like all of us he also encountered rejection he embraced poverty because he loved us and wanted to show us the way
into poverty to share with us the pain, hunger, suffering and the freezing cold in a human form. He is born to show us the way. drummer boy is happy to see baby Jesus but he has nothing to offer him so he offers his talents he is abundantly rewarded when when the child when the Christ child smiles at him this carol gives everyone a message of hope love and peace Yes, we 
Now we sing a song of rejoicing at the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy of prophet Isaiah, made 700 years before the birth of Christ, that a savior will be given to Israel. cannot stop us from dreaming about, during christmas time of a world where there is a there is peace joy and no starvation dream of a green planet where all our needs are met Yeah. 
midnight draws near, our hearts are beating in anticipation. Let us raise our voices, wishing our Lord happy birthday.
Today, the church celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ, the first day in the octave of Christmas. Throughout Advent, the church longed ardently for the coming of our Savior. Today, she celebrates his birth with unrestrained joy. To those in darkness, a child will be born who will have dominion over all the earth. Christ, whose birth we celebrate today, is the light of the world, the reason for this Christmas season of joy. Darkness gives way to light. The Son of God became man to give us a share in that divine life which is eternally his in the Blessed Trinity. Christmas time begins on December 24th with the first Vespers of the Feast and ends on the Feast of the Baptism of Christ. White vestments reappear in our churches as a bright sign of joy. Let us now rise and welcome the celebrant joyfully by joining the choir in singing the entrance hymn. Oh, come on, 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 oh,
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On Christmas Day, children open their gifts, tossing away the ribbons, gift wrapping, paper boxes, etc. We too need to discard whatever comes in the way of receiving God's gift of salvation. We can discard our desire for self-satisfaction, self-righteousness, and self-promotion so that we may discover God's continued presence and love. Our proclaiming, living, and being the good news is the best response we can make at Christmas. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us praise God in the words of the Gloria.
let us pray. O God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we who have known the mystery of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord.
I'll rule the world with justice and the people's way this constancy his constancy A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, who are zealous for good works. The word of the Lord. In those days, 
a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria and all went to be registered each to his own town and Joseph also went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth to Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and the lineage of David to be registered with Mary his betrothed who was with child and while they were there the time came for her to give birth and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy. That will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those on whom he is pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, we may think that each of us have conquered space and time. We have conquered the whole world. Yes, my dear friends, that is true. We see that we have been unable to conquer our own human heart. We may have conquered everything on the earth, but our own human heart, we have failed to conquer. It continues to be what it has been for centuries. We still hurt, we still feel lonely, we still feel the need to be loved and cared for exclusively. We still feel envious, we still feel jealous, we still feel the need for someone to remove us from all our shortcomings. This is a hope. We have to have a Messiah who will enable each one of us to overcome all our disappointment in life that each of us face. You might have heard or read about the story, but I will narrate it once again for your own introspection. There is a story told of an astronaut in the space. This astronaut who declared very empathically, I am high above the earth at moment and I see no God here. Very boldly and proudly he professed. Later that day, he had to perform some repairs on a ship. And while he had to perform some repair on his ship and was using a special connector cable to keep him linked to the ship and also to have the oxygen supply to himself, in a sudden movement, the cable came loose. The astronaut panicked. He panicked as he saw the cable separating itself from the ship, and as a result, he was floating into the space. He thought, as human beings, we think, 
all is lost. I am dead. And he began to cry out. And in a moment of weakness, he cried out, God save me. A colleague who was watching the cable snap rushed, prepared to save his friend, stepped out of the ship and in his own space suit was able to reconnect the cable. And that saved his life. When the ast astronaut denied God and when he went back into the spaceship, he thanked his colleague. And not only thanked his colleague, but at the same time he cried out. It is then he remembered his words. And when he remembered his word, he also corrected his message to the world. He said, the arrogance of man does not allow him or her to see the most obvious thing that God holds for each of us today. The recent pandemic broke the pride of human race. It shows how vulnerable each of us during the time of pandemic. It is this that God came to address when he sent his only son into the world on that first Christmas night. He is the most high, take refuge in the fearless. He became subject to all the pain, to all the suffering. He stooped down to pick up human race from all the mess that has been created. He does not come in splendor. He does not come in a very spectacular display of power and might. But my dear friends, he comes with a display of unity with every suffering man. He comes as a homeless. He comes as an oppressed. He comes as a migrant. He comes as an illegitimate child who is rushed from corner to corner and by circumstances of the time. Christmas is the celebration of the brokenness of humanity. God came to make complete what was incomplete in each one of us. He was born to celebrate with human, to be part with their parties, to cry with them, to laugh with them, to correct their faults with love, to shout out and call out the hypocrisy. But most of all, to experience the unconditional love that only human race can give. He loved us and we love him. And it is the same love, my dear friends, that makes his coming worth into the world. So let us make this love come alive. And this love, my dear friends, will come alive when you and I experience that true love in our life, not only on this Christmas night or Christmas week, but throughout the entire life and throughout the year, just not at Christmas. Let us find a new way of loving each other and not only loving each other, but at the same time, keeping each one of us connected and not only connected, but to appreciate and acknowledge that we care for each and every human creature that is created by God. Human being thrives on love, but hatred makes us lose sight of the greatness we have inside of us. God recognizes the potential of each one of us. And when he has recognized this potential in each one of us that we have for love, and he has come down for us as love incarnated. My dear friends, let us then on this Christmas day love one another, love one another with not condition, but love one another in humility that God is our only guide, God 
is our only prince who is born today. If you and I believe that God is only my guide, God is only my prince of peace, then you and I will follow his example in our day-to-day -day walk of life. So as we participate in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask for the grace that we will love one another in humility with God as God is our only guide and protector. Amen. In your eyes, we shall profess the creed all together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, before born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> we celebrate the good news of the birth of Jesus with a great joy, for he has fulfilled the promise of God of a savior for the needs and the intention before the Lord, who gave us his son Jesus. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and all religious persons, that they may have the wisdom, understanding, and strength they need to bring Christ to everyone under their care by their action and deeds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the light of Christ, who is born today, may shine in every heart, dispelling the darkness within and giving hope to those in most despair. Let us pray to the Lord. that our broken world, torn by war and violence, poverty, unemployment, hunger, disease, 
and despair may find the healing and peace that is found only in Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For every family in our parish community, that they may be united, loving and understanding towards each other, not only during the Christmas season, but throughout the year, that they make Jesus the Prince of Peace, the wonderful counselor, the center of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For all men and women who risk loneliness, rejection, and even persecution in their efforts to spread peace and understanding in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pause to pray for our personal needs and the needs of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for each and every family in our parish. Let us pray for all those who are sick, all those who have been hospitalized. In a very special way, we remember all those who have asked us to pray for. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus to all of us and for listening to our prayers. We have made with faith in same Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
mic, sir. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the oblation of this feast day be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be cut up to Him in love of all things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with throne and dominion, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayers and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, <coughs> that you accept and bless these gifts, these offering, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church be pleased to grant a peace to God, unite, and governor throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, Savio, John, Alvin, Barthol, and all those who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic Church. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, Immaculate Virgin brought forth the Savior of this world, and in communion with 
those whose memory we venerate, especially Mother of God, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, and all your saints, we ask that through their merit and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that your whole family order our days in your peace, and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen to Christ our Lord. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to supper, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you O God his almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious cup in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins to this in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the cup of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, 
the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing to Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. <coughs> Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who throw sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostle and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon. To whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ has said to the Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us not nod our heads today, but give a warm handshake to our neighbors and wish the peace, Prince of Peace, the peace of Christ, to others. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Holy Communion is only for Catholics. Members of other faith are requested at this time to pray in silence of your heart. Krista Prasad, Fakta Christi Banwan Satyahe, Itar Dharmancha Vektine, Ya Velevar, Namrabane Pratna Karavi.
Kindly arise. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may through an honorable way of life make worthy of union with them who lives and reigns forever and ever. Kindly be seated for the announcements. Masses tomorrow, Christmas Day, 25th December, will be at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8.15 a.m., and 9.30 a.m. in English. Please note, there will be no evening Mass. There will be no Mass at Copri Chapel tomorrow, 25th December, Christmas Day, and Sunday, 1st January, New Year Day. Saturday, 31st December, Holy Hour at 11 p.m., followed by Mass in the Church. 1st January, New Year Day, Masses at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8.15 a.m., and 9.30 a.m., Please note, there will be no evening Mass on 1st January. The parish team would like to wish all the parishioners a happy Christmas and may the peace and joy of Christ be with your family. Funeral announcement. We regret to inform that Mrs. Celine Sparrow of Copri Community, wife of Douglas, mother of Leo and Crescentia, 
expired on 23rd December. Funeral mass will be on the 26th of December at 3.30 in the church, followed by cremation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May her soul rest in peace. We now have a bands. By the grace of God, the following couple intend to be joined in the holy bond of matrimony. The first bands of Mr. Viren Mikhail Bosco Lasrado Shinoi, bachelor son of Mr. Keith Albert Lasrado Shinoi, and late Mrs. Joan Maria Crasto, residing at 301 Casa Feliz 7, St. Francis Avenue, 2nd Has Asnabad Lane, Santa Cruz West, and Miss Rochelle Joyce Tauro, spinster daughter of Mr. Richard Raphael Tauro, and Mrs. Greta Vaz, residing at D. Mystery Nivas, first floor, Mahageri Kolivara, Thanya West. If you know of any reason why this couple should not be joined in the bond of matrimony, you are bound in conscience to come and inform the parish priest as soon as possible. On behalf of Bishop Alwyn and the team, a very happy Christmas to all of you. May God bless you all. It is customary for us to thank all those who have made this day possible. First of all, I would like to thank the sisters of the convent, both the convents, for the services that they render both to the parish and to the community at large. To the parish council members, the animators, coordinators, the community welfare fund committee and those who are helping, the Eucharistic ministers, the lectors, not to forget the choir. They sang beautifully. They have been practic practicing right from September. In fact, my birthday is in September. I thought they were practicing for my birthday. But till now, they were going on practicing. So I knew it is for Christmas. Very good singing. May God bless you all. The choirs, the Konkani choir we have. We have a Marathi choir. We have children's choir. There are so many choirs in our parish. A lot of conductors are there, no drivers. So it makes singing beautiful. The altar servers. The different organizations and cells. I wish to thank the SVP in a special way for reaching out to the poor, to those who are in need of our help. The Sunday school teachers, confirmation classes, First Holy Communion classes, members also of the Siro Malaba community because they also have been very helpful. The decorators, sound system, provided today, the parish office, not to forget the sacristans, Arvind and Margaret, reminding of sacristan, I remember one of my sacristan in Marol when I was there. When I first went to Marol, of course his English, Konkani, everything was mixed. So there was a funeral and I asked him, Dominic, today there is a funeral, how are they coming? It was coming from JB Nagar. So normally they either walk, they come in a procession, or they come by bus. So they were coming in a procession, so you did not know how to tell it to me. He said, today body coming, walking, he said. <laughs> so I was wondering, now when body will come driving? So today body coming, walking, he told me. Also would like to thank Deepak Das for the overall general uh, organization of today and of all the other events that we have. Not to forget the LED screens, those we have put up, the camera persons, the backdrop, the AV team, the florist, they have decorated the church. 
not to forget our youth who have always been helpful and the crib that they have made this year. May God bless them for the effort that they have put in. The different communities that have made stars this year, we have got too many stars in our compound. Even the school has put up some stars. So different communities have made those stars. A sincere thanks to all of them. Not to forget the police for giving us permission and the newspaper reporters who are here around. They have been taking down notes, asking us different questions as to how we celebrate this event. It's not an event, but it is a celebration of Jesus being born to us. So may God bless you all. I hope I've not forgotten anyone. In case I've forgotten anyone, kindly put your hand up. No one, no two. Carol singing, those who have gone round. The different communities that have made stars in their own areas, and also they have made their cribs. Uh, the, the judges will be going around very soon. Uh, I don't think I've uh, forgotten anyone. Even the fathers have thanked them. Actually, today I was expecting them to be sitting quietly when I'm making the announcement, because the issue was, when should we have our dinner? Eight o'clock or after the mass. So I told them, we'll carry the boxes and sit at the back when I'm reading out the announcements. But I think they didn't bring the boxes. So maybe afterwards they'll go. Thank you. May God bless you. A Merry Christmas to all of you. Not to forget the security staff for helping us. And soon after mass, people are distributing cakes, so you can take one for yourself. And I think you're happy that I finished talking. That's why you were clapping. <laughs> Kindly arise. The Lord be with you. Yes. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. After each invocation, your response will be Amen. <coughs> May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son, has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illuminated this most holy night. Drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel. Fill your mind with gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. May God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realms, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Golden bells are sounding merrily and cheerful choirs are gaily caroling and we can say with all sincerity and sing of a merry Christmas. Every steeple chime is ringing Now let the world as one rejoice, sing of a 
testing